Let's talk about the random function. Uh, super useful anytime you want a random number. Uh, you may have noticed it in the uh, previous one when we did our reaction tester. I uh, used it there, I didn't make you use it, but now let's explain it. It generates a random number or a pseudo random number because it's not truly random, um, but close enough from our perspective. Uh, so there's two ways you can use this. Uh, by the way, again, looking at the Arduino page on it, I just look up Arduino random to find out. It's one of the built-in functions. And uh, first thing you do is if you do random and then some number in the brackets, you get uh, a number between zero and uh, one less than that number. So if I did random 10, uh, that would give me a random number between uh, zero and nine. So with equal chance of all of them. Uh, and then I could also use it like this. If I give it two numbers, let's say I said uh, random uh, three and 10, that would give me a random number between three and nine, which each number being equally likely. Uh, so it returns a long and it's a random number between uh, whatever minimum you put in there, if you put in a minimum and your max number minus one. Uh, so let's see some examples of this. It's not too crazy. Um, so if I did random 100, that would give me a random number between uh, 0 and 99. Uh, if I wanted a number between 1 and 100, there's a couple different ways I could do it. If I have a number between 0 and 99 and I add 1, that'll give me a number between 1 and 100. Uh, another way I could do that, if I wanted a number between 1 and 100, I could put in 1 as my starting point, and then I could do 101. That would also give me a number between 0 and 100. Um, if I want a number between 50 and 100, it'd be like this. Uh, if I want a number between 0 and 999, I could do this. Uh, remember your max thing, it can never equal your max thing. It's always one minus it. So this would be zero to nine, nine, nine. And it defaults starting like your, your minimum defaults to zero. Uh, one way to look at it is if you just put in one number, you have 1000 possible numbers. Uh, it's just, they don't go from one to that number. They go from zero to one less than that number. Um, I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense random wise. Uh, one thing I want to mention that you probably won't need to use, uh, but if you mention if you need something more random, it talks about a function called random seed right here. And so by setting your random seed uh, to something truly random, then you can get actually random numbers. And so if for some reason it's super important that it's actually random, like it would be in a lottery or some thing where the randomness is part of uh, security, which probably won't be. Uh, but if it were, if pure randomness is important to you, you can mess with random seed. Because uh, this is pseudo random. So it's random from our perspective, but if you were a lead hacker, you could break it. Anyway, that is lots about random. Hope you